Now, for you, one of the key things which is unique in your story, which I'll give you credit for, is that you tapped us on the shoulder and you approached myself and Q Performance to give you some assistance in, in business from an early stage. Now, a lot of people in our community that they'll see us you know, five years before they jump on board or some 10 years before they make a change, but you jumped on board pretty early. When you first saw us, was it in 2019 you uh, attended one of our training sessions? Was it 2019, 2018? Yeah, it was 2019. Um, I think it would have been just after the new financial year uh, yep. started. Uh, yeah, went to a training session. Um, I recognized pretty quickly, like, this is pretty good and I want to, you know, you can help me. What you were saying was the trading mindset syndrome is what you're talking about heavily. And um, I took the book and, and read your book uh, from that. And yeah, definitely um, felt what you were saying was happening to me. So um, yeah, definitely wanted to get on board and see where it could go. So that resonated like in terms of that, the same story and especially around that trading mindset where it's <clears throat> saying yes to everyone, being busy all the time um, and really you were getting into that stage where the business was starting to, you know, um, run your life, essentially you become enslaved to the business. But again, this is what I said, like really credit to you from an early stage to say, you know what, I need hand because I can't keep going. Cause you could have easily be sitting here now, three years in, in the same position um, with a lot more gray hairs. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon if, uh, yeah, we didn't go down this path together. Um, I, yeah. I don't know where I would have, would have been like yeah work was definitely consuming me and you know like our first meeting uh our our first conversation that we had was in in the garage in my house like that's where I was working from so yeah at the time and yeah that was that was full on because I want to jump to yeah where you are now and and the great progression you've made so one of the key things first big step you made from getting out of that trading mindset to really start to build that business that serves you, which is where you're on now and on a, on a fast track to really building a sustainable business that you know, can deliver that lifestyle of choice, was jumping on our program about the you know, late 2019 around there. One of the key things that we obviously required early was processes, as you alluded to, making sure that how can we make, you know, get the business that it can run without you so that mm-hmm. rather than, and what we, and for the listeners out there, what we try and say for all business owners, how can you actually sack yourself from all these tasks? Okay. You, you basically want to make yourself redundant from all these tasks where, you know, in the early days, Byron and Craig, you had to be across invoicing, answering the phone, every call, all the scheduling, all the accounts, all the payables. Agree? Yeah. Yeah. I was doing all of that. So it was very difficult. Um, yeah. I think you, you want to reinvent yourself each time. I think mm. that's what you sort of, want to look to do and that's what you taught you guys have taught me to do so you know you and I had a chat and we and we sort of set out the function role and and what we needed you know someone to sit in that chair to do uh, as a as an admin staff and once we sort of defined what we needed then you know we then set out a checklist as well for onboarding and what we're going to do once we found someone to start um and then we yeah started talking to um uh, some potential candidates and sort of see how they fit and um, yeah, that's sort of the way we worked. I mean, we, we started this time last year and yeah, Audrey didn't start till um, I think the end of January, yeah, February. early February. Yeah. February. Yep. So, so we did put in the time and make sure that we, you know, she was suitable. She, you know, we were going to work for her and she was going to work for us here. So that's one of the great things about setting up the function role is then you can break that down um, into how it looks uh, when someone, you know, was coming on board when Audrey was coming on board and you can break it down into the small steps that's needed um, to set up like, you know, service mate and zero and invoicing, you know, all the different tasks that were going to be expected. Um, you can really then break it down into what's needed and then set up a process, um, which is what we did, you know? Um, yeah. We broke everything down and, and made it easy. And, you know, at the same time, obviously it was the first admin staff that, that I'd put on. So, um, it's sort of, you know, there's a lot of information there that had to be conveyed, you know, from my head onto paper or onto, you know, onto a, um, a document so that it can be followed. So that was a lengthy process in itself. But once once it was done, yeah, it was great. Like, it was smooth. 